Ah, what's going on guys? Anthony from Simple Tech Talk here, where I help you get the most out of your Android device. And on this video today, I'm doing something a little different. I wanted to go over something called Google Now and Google Maps. Uh, Google Now is basically going to help you with voice recognition. It's going to help you with controlling your phone with your voice. It's, it's uh, Android's assistant built into the phones where you'll be able to use your voice to open up applications, send text messages, make phone calls, and even use your GPS. And that's something we're going to go over right now. So um, in a moment, we'll go over the little details about um, how to set up Google Now and how to set up Google's voice recognition services and then um, using them with your Google Maps. So let's get into that right now. All right guys, so this is uh, gonna be how you set up Google Now. And all you wanna do is on the very bottom of your, if you have a Samsung home button, uh, otherwise it would be the center square button on other Android phones. So what you can do is press and hold on that home button and you're gonna see this and it's gonna say, you found screen search. Now, which is really cool because uh, once you press yes, I'm in, you are starting Google Now. Now there's a few options within Google now, so uh, one of the things you're gonna do is tap on the little G here and open this up. And what you'll see is uh, a few options. So you wanna get started. And I'm gonna blur all of this out, but all it's doing is asking me for information on an account. I'm gonna choose my main account. I'm gonna say, okay. Set up the feed, yes, I'm in. And give it a moment, and now it's just gonna set up Google now. And the basics of all you want to do is this is going to look into certain information right away. Um, you're going to know it's it's looking into some of your search history on on uh, on Google, things that you're interested in. And the basic thing you want to do here, real simple, is going to tap on settings. So you can go to those three lines on top. So what you want to do here is touch on the three lines on top, and you're going to go into settings. And within your settings, you're going to tap on voice. You're gonna tap on this one for detection from any screen. And at the very bottom, it's gonna say, get started. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Yes, I'm in. We'll set up a pattern and then hit finish. From here now, everything is set up. Now we can use the voice controls while we're in the car. Anyway, once your phone is mounted, you want to use your voice to activate Google Now to use your maps. So let's get into that right now. We're just going to take a look and it's going to look like this. Okay, Google. How do I get to Monmouth Beach from here? Monmouth Beach is 17 minutes from your location by car and light traffic. Here are your directions. All right, so we're just going to follow these directions. So what you're going to do is just press on start gonna pop up where you are and then uh, east on Redwood Drive toward Dogwood Drive and that's it start driving now watch this I'm actually gonna drive in the wrong direction turn left onto Holly Drive then turn left look at that it's giving us the proper directions even though I went the wrong way turn I didn't feel like making a user Avenue then turn left onto Tinton Avenue so forgive the, uh, the uh, audio quality here but yeah now watch this, I'm gonna miss my turn. See that? Turn right onto Oak Lane, then turn right onto Holly Drive. And now it's giving me the correct directions regardless. <clears throat> so it's really nice, and uh, let's say I decide to, again, not pay attention to the directions and make this U-Hurt. You're on the fastest route. There you, you go. You should reach your destination by 10.33 a.m. Not a bad turn way to right go. Turn right onto Oak Lane, then turn right onto Holly Drive. Really, really simple, guys. So once we uh, start getting these directions going. Right toward Tinton Avenue, then turn left onto Tinton Avenue. So that's about it. It's a really simple thing, and I'm going to stop driving now. The other thing that you can do definitely is uh, stop, uh, hit the little X on the bottom, so that way you can stop the 
uh, directions once you know where you are. You can do another thing called, uh, let's see if we can do that one. Okay, Google, how do I get home from here? Your home is 26 minutes from your location by car and light traffic. Here are your directions. Oh, but you can do this with uh, anything. So, okay, Google, how do I get to the Empire State Building from here? Empire State Building is one hour and 33 minutes from your location by car and heavy traffic. Here are your directions. All right, guys, so uh, thanks again for watching that video. I hope this was a, a cool, different version of what I do for you guys. I apologize for the audio, especially while driving around. I'm in an enclosed neighborhood, so uh, no worries about traffic or anything like that. I'm not on a main road. Um, normally don't do this where I'm driving and holding a phone or recording and stuff like that, but I thought this was definitely a useful tip to tell people about Google Maps and the, the easy way that it can work for you in terms of voice control, one, two, uh, using information you have built in. So uh, if you have family or friends in your contacts, make sure to get their address. And what you can do is put in their address, go into your contacts, you tap on that address and it'll open up Google Maps for you and give you directions right away. Um, even if you know how to get to certain locations, it always helps out because uh, you know you could be in a situation where you do get lost or you could be a situation where somebody else might be driving. You just send them that information. It's really, in really easy, really convenient. If you haven't done so already, guys, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you on my next video. Peace.